Your dog's eyes begin to age. Cataracts can make your dog's eyes look clouded. And they may have a hard time seeing things. You can help your dog by visiting the vet. They will help you create a treatment plan for your dog. Make sure to follow all of the pre-op instructions. If you want to have cataracts removed, encourage your dog to rest and limit their activities as they recover. Ask your vet any questions during the process. So, we are going to watch about the how to help a dog with cataracts. Method 1. Weighing your treatment options. First is know the signs of cataract growth. Make sure to inspect your dog's eyes on a regular basis. Look for any indications of a cloudy appearance or a color change. If your dog already has cataracts, watch to see if the impacted area grows or changes in shape. Step 2 Take your dog to the vet. A vet is the only person who can truly diagnose a dog with cataracts. Your vet will likely inspect your dog's history. They will perform an extensive physical exam on your dog as well. Step 3 Give your dog antioxidants and vitamins. Talk with your vet before giving your dog anything. But, it may be helpful to offer your dog some additional nutritional support to help it fight off the development of cataracts. You can add oral antioxidants to your dog's food. Step 4 Consider acupuncture therapy. There is no definitive evidence to show that touch therapy helps to prevent or delay cataracts. The process of massage may be more stressful to dogs than soothing. Step 5 Continue to monitor the cataract. Vet may ask you to observe your dog's eyes for a certain period of time. Whether you choose surgery or not, you will want to get used to paying attention to the condition of your dog's eyes. Step 6 Consider surgical treatment. Surgery is currently the main treatment option for dogs suffering from cataracts. Most vets will only recommend that healthy dogs go through the surgery. In dogs with good health, around 90% recover their vision. Finally, know the dangers of untreated cataracts. If you leave your dog's cataracts untreated, then it is likely that their vision will continue to deteriorate. They may lose their vision entirely due to the development of glaucoma. The cataract may also start to shift position in the eye, causing Method 2. Adapting your home environment First is stick with the same routines. Make a habit of following the same basic routine of care every day. Feed your dog at the same time. Try to play with them at around the same time. This will help your vision impaired pet know what to expect. Step 2. Use aromas to teach navigation. A dog who suffers from impaired vision will naturally come to rely more on their sense of smell. Play into this by using two signal aromas in your household. Vanilla, for example, can be your good aroma. Wipe a few drops of vanilla scent on their food area and around. Step 3. Keep the home environment the same. Avoid moving furniture around or making any major changes to the outlines of your living space. Make sure to keep your dog's personal area the same as well by not moving their crate or food and water bowls around. Finally, place foam on any sharp edges. Get down on your dog's level and try to navigate around the house. Look for potential hazards in the form of sharp, low edges. Cover these edges with roll-out foam pieces. Method 3. Caring for your dog before surgery. First is help your dog get adjusted to wearing a cone or plastic collar. 
Ask your vet for a protective cone that you can put on your dog for a portion of time each day. That way, your dog won't be frightened by the cone when it is placed on them after surgery. Step 2 Practice confining your dog to help them prepare for after the surgery. Like wearing the cone. Confining your dog to a small space where they can heal is a necessary part of the post-op process. After the surgery, they will have to rest so that they do not injure themselves further. To get your dog used to the crate, try placing. Step 3 Schedule a physical exam for your dog at least 4 weeks before the surgery. Because the surgery will require your dog to be put under anesthesia. You should set up an appointment to have your dog physically checked out. The checkup should include a blood examination, blood pressure monitoring, and an evaluation of your dog's clinical history. If your dog is Finally, talk to your vet about pre-op preparations. Some veterinarians recommend a preoperative treatment that involves anti-inflammatory eye drops. These drops may be given to your dog two weeks before the surgery. Your dog will also need to fast for at least 12 hours prior to surgery. Method 4. Caring for your dog after surgery. First is restrain your dog using a harness. During your dog's recovery period, you will want them to wear a harness, not a collar. A harness will even out the pressure from your control movement, whereas a collar will add pressure to the head and eye area. Step 2 Limit the amount of exercise your dog gets. Just like a human recovering from surgery, your dog should take it easy in the days following their procedure. Rest is the most important thing so that their body can heal. Encourage your dog to relax by laying down on the floor beside them. Step 3 Give your dog the medications prescribed by your vet. Your vet will most likely prescribe topical antibiotic eye drops. This will help to keep your dog's eye from getting infected. Make to keep all of the hospital paperwork nearby. Finally, be aware of the potential complications. It is a good idea to know the warning signs to watch for in the post-surgery period. Your dog may also respond poorly to anesthesia. So make sure that your dog becomes more clear-headed over time. We hope it is useful to you. Please subscribe to our channel to upskill yourself.